Hello and welcome. Today I'm in the Madison Lake Highlands volcanic area in Northern California. And I went there to look for the uh, Mayfield Ice Cave. It was discovered in the 1800s by somebody uh, who had lost some cattle and uh, was even planning to make it into a tourist attraction. So you would think it would be easy to find or at least marked, but it's not. It's uh, I found a rough mar rough marking on a map, and uh, based on that, I drove into this area, pretty remote. Um, the last ten miles or so is just a dirt road, and on the map there was also. Um, a small road that was marked as a Mayfield Road, but that does not exist anymore. At least uh, I found the the first portion of that road, uh, but it was overgrown and uh, uh, at a short distance it, a fallen tree even was blocking it. But even if I walked it further down, at some point it just the whole road disappeared, no longer visible. So. I took an alter alternative route to try to find it, and I do think I found it. I think this is the location where the ice cave should be. And I wandered around in this area for well over an hour, um, found some really interesting uh, cracks in the ground that I'll show you later. But uh, looking back, thinking back and searching more on the internet, I think the actual entrance was right here, where I'm coming on to now. But as you can see, it's now blocked by a big rock, and I didn't... Uh, try to look past it um, because I didn't realize that this might be the entrance um, but even then it's probably difficult to get in there because in, in photos that I found taken many years ago there were some wooden ladders that are leading down from the entrance and I'm pretty sure if they blocked it with that rock then the ladders have been taken away as well. And I think even I saw one picture where the ladders were already broken down. But anyway, um, this was a really interesting area to, to walk through. And here was another small entrance. And from some research that I did just now, before I recorded this narration, there should be two entrances to the caves, one north and one south. Um, the one that I just saw, I suspect, is the north entrance, and the south entrance should be in the other direction. This is a small opening, but I went in there and it didn't seem to lead anywhere. Turn on the lights. See, it looks like there's a very small uh, opening, but it was certainly not big enough for me to get through. And though I like to uh, explore these caves, I'm not at a young age anymore where I can just uh, clamber inside anywhere and try to squeeze myself through 
small holes and spaces. So I leave that to the younger generation. So after finding these two openings, I just walked around more for about an hour, like I said, over this area. And it's just fascinating to see what uh, the forces of nature can do to a landscape. A big uh, lava flow remnants. So this main part, it was basically uh, what I assume a um, even bigger cave or cavity that uh, collapsed. <coughs> so it's now a big indentation in the ground. And now I'm going on the sides trying to look if there was an entrance entrance from another side <coughs> oh and, and by the way I don't know if I said it in the beginning but since this is a relatively well-known cave I was expecting there to be some marking or anything at the street level to indicate like hey this is where the Mayfield cave is <coughs> just like a little farther north, close to Madison Lake, <coughs> there is the Jotin Ice Cave, and that is really clearly marked and very easily accessible. But here, this cave, nothing, nothing at all. And it may be that it is a bit more dangerous to enter, because, like I said, there used to be some wooden ladders that went down some, well, Maybe 15 feet. That's my estimate. So maybe for um, safety reasons, this is not marked. This cave. And here all around this area you will see little openings where there's possibilities to go inside but most of them are too narrow too small for me to get into So here, this was after uh, walking around for quite a bit, I came to this big crack in the uh, surface of the earth, crevice, whatever you call it. This was really deep. Um, maybe 20 feet, 30 feet. and about seven, eight feet wide, I would guess. And this, uh, this crack went on for quite a distance. Maybe 300 feet or so. And I walked al along the whole edge of it and trying to see if there was a place where it was easy to go down. But um, <clears throat> couldn't really find a, an accessible spot to try to climb down in 
to uh, inside of this. It's everywhere there were these steep walls. And as I always say on these videos, it's very difficult to get a really good sense of scale. So this is uh, probably deeper than what it looks like on the video. This is a shot with a wide angle lens on a mobile phone. So this makes everything looks look relatively smaller than it is in the when you're walking there, we were looking down and see it's pretty deep. I was trying to capture the shadow of my uh, camera. So yeah, I'm still walking around along that uh, and now I've done some more research about this cave, just this morning. I might go back and try to look for that south entrance. Because from all indications that I get. This is the northern part of the cave system. And as I was walking around from where I entered this area, I went more north and east. So if I go back, I will try and turn south. I did go there for a short distance when I was there this morning or that morning. Um, at that time it didn't look like there was more uh, possibility to find cave going south, but like I said, I should try again. Maybe next year. And so here I'm on my way back to the forest road. And here on the left you see a marker. So somebody left here some stones stacked together. That's typically a marker of some point of interest. And this is so this is going south now. And this is where I exited the field because as you see here there are not really any of those rocks anymore. Now it's looking north where I was the, all this time. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day. Thank you.